Hi, my name is Alexander. In my role as an application scientist, a lot of people are asking me during an exhibition or in our demo labs why they should choose our Nicolette INTERM FTIR microscope. Today I would like to walk you through our instrument and in the next couple of minutes I will give you a brief overview why you should choose our system. The INTERM is a standalone microscope, meaning that the spectrometer part is fully integrated into the microscope and there's no need for an external spectrometer. What is the benefit of this design? Well, first of all, we achieve an unbeatable high signal to noise ratio. Secondly, the system has a smaller footprint and we achieve a very uniform illumination on our imaging detector. The system can be also extended with an external sample compartment called IZ10, where you can use all the standard ATR accessories, transmission cells, or for example, a gas cell, if you want to couple the system to a TGA system. The ion 10 itself can be equipped with up to three different detectors. It comes standard with a DGTS detector, which has been optimized for the microscope. And so there's no need to use liquid nitrogen in order to operate the system. If you want to have the highest mapping speed and the highest sensitivity, then you can go either for an MCT-A detector or for an MCT-B detector if you need to cover a broader spectral range. In addition to the single element detectors, you could also choose an MCTA based linear array imaging detector, which consists of 16 detector elements. And the advantage of this detector is that you can analyze uh, data or spectrum down to 700 wave numbers, which is superior compared to other imaging detector techniques, which have a higher cutoff. In addition, the IN10 is of course equipped with a 15x fixed objective, which has a very high numerical aperture of 0.7. What does this yield? First of all, due to the very high numerical aperture, we achieve the best possible spatial resolution. And secondly, due to the high numerical aperture of the objective, we can also collect data in diffuse reflectance from highly scattering materials like paper-based materials, so paper-based inks, paper-based coatings, for example. With every infrared microscope, you can collect data in transmission mode, reflection mode, or in ATR mode. So for our system, we have a so-called TIP ATR, which means that our crystal is not integrated in the objective of the microscope, but in this case we have a slider and here you can see the ATR crystal, which could be either a diamond crystal or a germanium crystal. So in our case, the slider will be then placed underneath the objective via a dovetail mount for the data collection. What is the benefit of the system? Well, first of all, in our case, the alignment of the crystal and also the focusing of the crystal is very easy. And secondly, because we can easily remove the crystal after the data collection has been finished, we can very easily clean the crystal and we can also do a visible inspection of the crystal, whether there is, for example, a particle still left on the crystal and then we can easily remove the particle. And in addition, because our ATR has a very high energy throughput, you could also use the ATR in combination with the DGTS detector. So you need not necessarily to have liquid nitrogen. Furthermore, the operation of the micro ATR is also very safe for our system because we have a pressure sensor that is integrated in the stage rack of the system and the sensor will always identify if there's any unwanted contact between the stage, for example, and your crystal. The system is operated with our Omnic PICTA software, which is a very user-friendly software. 
and the software also has implemented a lot of tools and wizards that help you during the data collection and also during the analysis of data. So for example, we have implemented the particle wizard, which can be used for the analysis of microplastics. And we also have other wizards that can be used to analyze tablets, laminates or inclusions, for example. And our IN10 is also suitable to be operated in pharmaceutical environment because we have a validation slide where we have uh, tra traceable polystyrene standards which help you to validate the system in transmission, reflection and for ATR mode um, with respect to the different pharmacopoeus. So to conclude, what matters? Why should you choose our system? The IN10 is a standalone microscope and due to the design of the microscope, of the objective and also of the micro ATR, we achieve a very, very good signal to noise ratio. So you get really spectra with a really high spectral quality. And in addition, we have a very user friendly software with a lot of tools um, that help you during the data collection and data analysis.